Welcome to MITRE Exchange. I am Rachel Richelieu, the Director for Strategic Communications. Today's discussion is really focused on healthcare innovation for veterans. First, we have Dr. Carolyn Clancy, uh, Deputy Undersecretary for Discovery and Education at the Veterans Affairs Administration. Jackie Wynn, working here for MITRE, is Vice President and Director from MITRE's Veterans Affairs Portfolio. And our moderator today is Rich Byrne. Rich <laughs> is our Senior Vice President for Programs and Technology. Well, let's dive right in. What are some of the ways that you can envision the VA taking advantage of the Mission Act to expand on improving the veterans' experience? Wow, there's so much we could do, but uh, it's a very, very exciting topic. So, um, among other issues, the Mission Act gives us the opportunity to create a Veterans Innovation Center. But it builds on a long history of innovation at VA, and I think that's uh, really, really important. Um, any of you who have been in a hospital or visited someone, you know, and you've got your little bracelet, and they check it before they give you medicines and so forth, that came out of VA 30-odd years ago. A nurse who was not a researcher or anything like that, but she was undergoing chemotherapy, started idly wondering, how do I know that bag is mine? And that was actually where barcoding was born. And about 20 years later, the rest of the healthcare system caught up. We're very, very focused on how can veterans who want to choose home instead of being institutionalized, which I think is what a lot of people would right. prefer. Uh, absolutely. And do you see that um, because the demographics are changing? Right, so more veterans are younger, so they really want the technology to come to them versus them having to go to a, a medical center? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, a young former Marine who works for me, what he wants is an app on his phone that tells him how's the DCVA running appointment-wise. By the way, I would like this app for <laughs> other aspects of life, too. The Million Veteran Program, or MVP, an amazing program, which is really a partnership with the veterans who are in it. We're at about 750 or 775,000, so we will make a million for sure. And which makes us not only one of the largest repositories of genomic information, but also the unique repository that also has clinical electronic data. Everybody in this room, in fact, everybody in the company stands ready to support you, not just in your role, but in really helping the veterans experience and, and get the best health care they deserve. <laughs>